Yo, what's going on? How y'all doing? Um, I'm serious. Uh, my lease is ending um, sometime soon, and I'm definitely moving out of the Steel Creek area, and this is the reason why. Um, one, the biggest reason is traffic. You know, um, when I first moved here in 2014, because this is my second time, you know, living in Charlotte. You know, I, for those that know me, you know, I, I went to Atlanta and moved to Atlanta for about two and a half years and came back. So um, this is actually my second time. The first time I moved here was around 2014. I moved into this apartment complex called Bexley Apartments, um, located um, right off of the intersection of South Tryon and Steel Creek Road. And at the time, there was a restaurant. I'm, I'm just, you know, giving you some, some, you know, landmarks, you know, just to show you how long it was, you know, it was that it's been since I've, you know, lived in, you know, back in those days, you know, I've, I've you know, anyway, um, there was a restaurant called Gridiron. Now it's an advanced auto place right there. Um, all of the medical facilities, the Still Creek Hospital was still there, but the, the new medical facilities with Domino's Pizza, Atrium Health and all that stuff was, is that, you know what I'm saying? That sits behind um, advanced auto parts are uh, um, behind like um, Still Creek Road. Um, that didn't exist. There was nothing but rabbit soil in that area. You know what I'm saying? Um, where the Super Target at is, is located in the Rivergate um, shopping area. Right across the street from there where there's... A, um, what is it? Um, it's Kohl's. Um, and a whole bunch of other stores that didn't even exist. That wasn't there. You know, the apartments that sit behind Super Target, that didn't exist. That wasn't nothing but woods and, and rabbits. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You would walk back, back in that area and it was just rabbits. You know, back in the days, it was really, really extremely quiet in the Still Creek area. Still Creek originally was just farmland. That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? So when I first got here, the only thing that was really developed in the Steel Creek area, you know, and I'm talking about like, like uh, the heart of Steel Creek, and what I, I say the heart of Steel Creek, which is the intersection of South Tryon and Steel Creek Road, was the Rivergate area, Bexley Apartments, um, the Enclave, that's right off of South Tryon, and you know they were, um, you know, the the, the 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 library, you know, the middle school. And then, you know, the regular housing, houses that the communities that were, that's in that area. That was it. That was it. You know, Still Creek was the best kept secret. You know, those that knew about Still Creek were the, the only ones that really knew about Still Creek were the ones that lived here. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then eventually, you know, um, investors came in, developers, and they started to build, 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 build. And now you have <laughs> Still Creek busted wide open. Premium Outlet Mall wasn't there when I when I first moved here. The Brerwick Shopping Center area was not there. There was no Harris Teeter. There was no Wendy's. No um, what's that? Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue was none of that. It was no hotels. None of that in that area. That that's all was rabbits. It wasn't no Top Golf. None of that. There was only two shopping areas in the Steel Creek area at the time when I first moved here. One was Rivergate and two was Whitehall Commons. That's it. So throughout the course of times, you know, they built on the left and the right hand side of Steel Creek Road, you know, um, down Brown Greer Road that leads to 485 that turns into Arrowwood Road. They, they're building apartments. They got new apartments down that street and they're building um, townhomes as we speak all the way down that street too. They busted wide open. So the first reason why I'm, I'm getting the hell out of here is because of the traffic. The traffic. And then the second reason why is because they have busted it wide open. Like it, it's just, and that correlates to the traffic. So they're, they're building on top of, on top of other communities. And this area is just getting cluttered up. So 
Let's take, for example, you know, people trying to get to work. You might work in like uptown, the uptown area. You might work anywhere where you have to take 45 or 77. Well, guess what? It's taking you, it's going to take you damn near an hour, uh, half an hour to an hour to get out of Steel Creek. Because our, our streets are two lane streets. Such as Steel Creek Road. And South Tryon, forget about it. That's back the hell up. See, the crazy thing about Steel Creek, man, is I personally, they should have just left it alone. Because Steel Creek is like kind of like a, a doorway into North Carolina or that from South Carolinians coming to South to North Carolina or a doorway or gateway into South Carolina from North Carolinians coming in and going to South Carolina. So you have 18 wheeler trucks, you know, regular freight trucks, people that's coming from out of state trying to get to where they got to go. And they're, they're, they're coming from Lake Wiley or they're going down Steel Creek Road or what they call 160, Highway 160 to get to Uptown or to get further up 77 because 77 is always backed up Monday through Friday and 485 is backed up Monday through Friday. It's just a big mess. And I call this area now a big hellhole. That's true indeed, man. It's, it's a decent, it's decent, decent living out here. Can't complain about that. Diverse communities, you know what I'm saying? Here in Steel Creek, you have Latinos that live here, Caucasians, black people, and we all get along. We're blue collar workers, you know, Monday through Friday, nine to five workers, you know what I'm saying? Um, family family orientated, you know, a lot of families live, live out here. You know, it's not too many crime that happens here. It's just that nowadays it's just cluttered. But that's like that basically everywhere in Charlotte. There's no garden of Eden in Charlotte anywhere. With the exception of, you know, places like uh, Providence Road and Ray Road, for an example. You know, it's, it's, it's always going to be the garden of Eden out there because it's too expensive to live out there. The cost of living is too high. But these places like Steel Creek, it's affordable. And it's, it's, it's away from the melee. But now, the melee has came to us. And it's just ridiculous, man. The, the, the city is talking about widening still widening the road of Steel Creek, or wide, wide, widening roads in the Steel Creek area, Steel Creek Road to be specific. But that's years to come. We need that now. Those that, that, that go down Western House Boulevard, they, those that, 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 that go straight down Steel Creek, Roll Monday through Friday, and they say, you know what, man, it's backed up, so I'm not gonna take Steel Creek Road all the way down and make that right on Brian Greer to get on 45 and then 45 to 77 to go straight up uptown to get to uptown. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna have to take that, I'm gonna have to go straight down Steel Creek Road and then make that right on Western House Boulevard and go straight down and hit 77 from there. Well, those that know know that it ain't nothing but trucks, 18 wheelers all going down Steel Creek and Western House Boulevard. Because in that whole area is nothing but warehouses, you know, um, uh, staples, a whole bunch of businesses in that area. And it's nothing but 18 wheelers that's all down that street that's just blocking up, blocking up Western House Boulevard and Steel Creek Road, Monday through Friday, in the morning and in the afternoon, straight through the day, man. And please, for those that live in the Steel Creek area, Please explain this to me. Why in the hell did they build this double ass wide high, uh, excuse me, sidewalk on what off, on Western House Boulevard and not just say, you know what, let's just widen the street. Nobody walks down that damn sidewalk. Sidewalk. Who paid for that? It's just ridiculous, man. So I'm not saying I'm moving out. I'm moving away from the Steel Creek area because of the crime. Because of the people. No, it's because of the traffic. And it's just gotten too crowded. Like, who was whose stupid idea was it to? It was all Steel Creek Road was already back the hell up. Whose dumb idea was it to to, to start building a new apartments on the left and the right hand side of Steel Creek Road to make it even worse? The traffic that is. This is crazy, man. 
for those that know the Steel Creek area, right before you get to that library, you know what I'm saying? Before you get to Rivergate, who whose idea was it to build that 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 community on the right hand side? If you're going straight towards Western House Boulevard or the the left hand side, if you're going towards Western House Boulevard, or the right hand side, if you're going towards Rivergate, whose idea was it to build a housing community in that area? They widen the road just enough for people that live in that new housing development. Or community, or whatever you want to call it, to make that right, to turn into the community. Yo, man, I'm surprised that I'm not go I'm not bald, cause I'm pulling my hair out every day, Monday through Friday, and I'm not making this up. And I know some of you all are gonna be like, well, you know what, well, least it's part of your fault, cause you the one that went on this rampage of, you know, trying to bring people. Um, you know, in to Steel Creek saying, oh, yeah, you know, the Tasmanian devil. Yeah, you know, because uh, uh, y'all always try to, like, mimic me. Yeah, you know, you come down here to Steel Creek and it's beautiful living. And this, 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 this. Yeah, yeah, I'll admit it. I, I, I'm not going to say I'm partly to blame because it, it's not like, come on, pl please, please. I didn't, thousands, I'm not responsible for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. Moving into the Still Creek area, but I will say I'm responsible for responsible for at least a good about ten to fifteen. I ain't gonna even lie, <laughs> and I've met those people for real. But yeah, man, I mean things have definitely changed, man. And they pick they put that when they put the goddamn what is it called Charlotte wings, Charlotte chicken wings, or whatever it's called in the, in, in in the shopping. Center of Harris Teeter, where they put that chicken wing near that chicken wing spot, that pissed me off, man. I said, ah, oh, man, I gotta get up out of here for real. This is my work because all this drawing is just like negative, negative people. You know what I'm saying? I, I was um, one night I went to was going to Harris Teeter. It had to be about ten something at night. I recorded it. I recorded it. You know what I'm saying? The employees and the customers was outside fighting. They were outside fighting each other. I'm like, what is this? Y'all haven't been open. They haven't been open. A, they haven't even been open for a year. And it's already this BS. One night, I, um, I was going to Publix, which is across the street from Harris Teeter. I was going to Publix, and I see these teenagers. They riding on them little buggies in the middle of the street. No lie, this is my word. The little buggies, you know, like if you're handicapped or, you, you know, you got leg problems and shit like that, arthritis or something, you know, you got to get on them little buggies and ride around in the grocery store and pick up your, get, get your items because you can't stand for long periods of time or you just can't walk at all. They were in the street just driving that shit, laughing and shit. I'm like, yo, nah, nah that, this, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. This is not the Still Creek area that I once knew. Now, if this is Whitehall Commons, that's something different. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of people to get shot up in Walmart. That's something different. Don't bring that fuckery up here in the Rivergate area. Don't. But it's just, it's just, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I could give you, I could give you the pros. I mean, like I said before, you know, it's still easy living out here. You know what I'm saying? We're not too far from Carowinds, but you know, uh, Carowinds is debatable. You know, like I, I look at it like this: it's a whack a park. It's a whack park for, for, for the price that they're charging. They, they're charging like $60, $65 a ticket, and plus you gotta pay for parking. Get out of here with that. Now, if they were charging like $25, it's worth it. It's worth it then. But you tell them, you're gonna give me, you're gonna charge me $60-something dollars, and the water park is whack, and the rise ain't even that great? Now, they're supposed to be extending it, and then I think it's supposed to be like year long. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can go to Carowinds like, like if it's snowing outside or some shit. But who was the... Well, we all know <laughs> those people. <laughs> you know, ain't no black people who'll be on no damn rides, goddamn snowing and shit. But yeah, man, you know it. We got Carowinds, we got Top Golf, but come on, man, University City got Top Golf too. We got like Lake Wiley, but Lake Wiley, I'm, 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 okay, we got like Lake Wiley, but Lake Wiley ain't better than Lake Norman. So I'm really like really thinking about like really where I really want to move to. You know what I'm saying? I'm really considering like the Mooresville, Lake Norman, Huntersville area. Man, that, that, all the way up there is nice. It's it's what 
Still Creek used to be. Real talk. Real talk. And let me tell you something. In that area, they ain't having it. They not having it. Those people up there, they not they not into change. Or rather growth. Not, not, not. Well, I take that back because they supposed to be building that new resort out there. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like a beach. It's gonna be like a man-made beach, and but you're gonna have to pay. It ain't gonna be like, you know, you can go there and chill. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna. By you paying, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to get a hotel room and all of that stuff. It's going to be a resort. It's going to be in Huntersville. Look it up. I forgot the name of it. But they're going to, the Riff Rap is going to be out of here because, you know, they're going to they gonna, they gonna hit you in the head. So the only people that's going to be able to afford that are, you know, people that's, they got something to lose. Like, yo, seriously, man, it, it, it's just, Charlotte overall has changed. And I know some of you all are going to say, well, you know, where I live, this changed as well, you know? And, and I guess everything is changing. To a certain extent, it's changed for the better, but then also for the worse. This is not the Charlotte that I used to know. You know what I'm saying? This is a different type of broad, you know? And um, this broad, I, I, I can honestly say, man, you know, at times I don't like her. I just don't. I, I just don't like Charlotte at times, man. You know, um... I hate going to Dow. You Dow is Dow YMCA is a state of the art. You know what I'm saying? The best gym that I've been to. You know y'all y'all keep on dozing off, sleeping on the YMCA's in, in Charlotte. Now YMCA's that that may be, may be in your town may be you know dilapidated or way back when. You know what I'm saying? Equipment, all of that. No, 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 no. I go to Dow and I go to Harris and South Park. They two of the state of, state of art gyms that I've been to. You know, in, in 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 Charlotte, let alone anywhere else. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, I go to Dow. No matter what time I go, no matter what day I go, it's crowded. It's just, Charlotte, it's, 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 it's not this little big town anymore. It's just not. It's just, they've blown it up. You know, they've turned Charlotte into a whore and, and they're building everywhere. They're building everywhere. And sooner than later, and I'm not saying like in the next 20 years, I say in at least the next 50 to 100 years, man, man, you won't be able to recognize this place, man. You won't be able to recognize the South. Because what they did, this is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? What they did is New York is too high for businesses, period. You know, let alone, you know, you know, little people like such as ourselves. You know what I'm saying? To live. So all these big businesses and and, 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 and and the little people just migrated down to the south. So they turning this shit into another New York. They just building on top of on top of on, on, they they building up they they they, they 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 destroyed the old Charlotte and then they built they rebuilt the new one and now they're building on top of what's new. So it's not even like like in Atlanta, they're building up now. The same thing in Charlotte. They're building up. So they're not building, they're not building like new houses. They're building a new apartment buildings and shit like that. It is gonna be just like New York, man, in the next hundred years. Trust me. Real talk. Ain't gonna be no country. You can't you can't say, you can't say, you cannot say Charlotte and Atlanta is country. You can't. What's country about it? What's country about it? Ain't no cows out here. You know the last time I seen a cow, a chicken? Last time I seen a cow, a chicken, a donkey, or something like that when I was in the West Indies. Ain't nothing country about Charlotte, man. Most of the people that live in Charlotte ain't even from here. Real talk. They done around the city has priced out the people that were born and raised here. For real, the natives. Now people that were born and raised here are the natives. They live in places like Gastonia. And they, they, they're building up Gastonia too. But yeah, man, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. I, Still Creek is gone. It's, it's, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't live here anymore, man. I just don't. The traffic is just... Dick.
ridiculous, man. It really is. And I deal with this every day. I mean, of course, the weekends and late at night, you know what I'm saying, or after about, I say about after 7, 7.30 at, at night, it's, it's, it's decent. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, you still got, you know, people just doing dumb shit here and there. So, yeah, man, you know, I'll, I'll never deny that, you know, um, Steel Creek is a nice area to live in. It is. It's just that the traffic is, is, is extremely bad, you know, and of course, they're just building on top. Like, they building everywhere, man. They building everywhere. And it's just it's just not the Steel Creek that I used to know. So, yeah, man, I'm, I think I'm getting old. <laughs> You know, older I get, I don't want to be around people, man. You know, when I was younger, and I'm going to end it with this. You know, when I was younger, man, I I wanted to live in, you know, live in New York forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just love the whole city life. You know, I, I love the, the whole thing of walking around the corner and getting me a slice of pizza, you know, and having a chit-chat with this person, you know, going to the bodega and, you know what I'm saying, just just chit-chatting with people, you know, and just being around people and it being a concrete jungle. But now as I get older, man, I just, man, I, I just want the simple things in life. Man, I don't like a lot of fucking people, man. I just don't. They give me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like a lot of people, man. I was at the Y today and it, it was just like, I, I couldn't find a parking space. I don't like parking for those that have been to the Dow YMCA I don't like parking in the parking deck because I don't want to walk all the way across the street to get to the Y and then when I'm finished when I'm done working out I gotta walk all the way on the other side and then they got I think it's two hour parking in the parking deck I don't want to be I don't want to be under some type of time restraint so I'm busy driving around the parking lot you know what I'm saying but as other cars are behind me looking for parking spaces as well and it's just a big mess man I just want the for real, I really, really want the country life, man. I want to live out in the country and have a, a, a certain amount of land. That's dope to me. You know what I'm saying? Have 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 land and just build on build what I want on that land. Straight up. Like if I want a bowling alley, I want a basketball court, I want a swimming pool, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever it may be. And turn that into my little kingdom. I'm starting to realize why a lot of people be living out in the country, out in the boondocks. Yo, you, man, ain't no cops out there. You ain't got to worry about shit. Man, please. If I come across some land, some cheap land, hmm, I'm going to make it happen. So yeah, man, that's all I got to say, man. I don't know where I'm going. I'm thinking about the Lake Norman, Morrisville, um, Huntersville area. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I go up there quite a few, you know, times, you know, throughout the month. And um, every time I've been there, it reminds me of old Steel Creek, the old version of Steel Creek. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, definitely share this video. Peace.